Hey, what's going on? It's Chris Wicks here. We're going to do another review today, a little trifecta. I'm going to bring you a company that you probably never even heard of. In fact, I never even heard of it. It's called Big Bowie. Big Bowie. They only have three flavors. They got guapa, condor, and chata. Now, it's handcrafted by Big Bowie himself in the Los Angeles area, Southern California, Sherman Oaks area. Did I mention they only have three flavors? Um, I met this guy at OCC or ECC or VapeCon, one of the conventions, and he was walking around with a backpack on his chest just filled with juice. So my instincts came up. I walked up to him and was like, hey, I do reviews, blah, blah, blah. So I'm honored to bring you some juice that not everybody gets to. And that's kind of why I like to do this, is I get to do juices that you may or may not even heard of or are barely coming out. So three juices, one company, pretty cool, started off. Um, we got the guapa, the guapa, um, the chata, and what was the other one? Uh, condor. Now the condor is a robust, uh, a robust in complexity of sweet, creamy undertones, nutty tobacco vape. Okay, so what's that tell me? Uh, maybe like a custard tobacco is kind of what I'm getting at. Um, we got a guapa, which is uh, guava, just a spot on tropical fruit, fruit run. I can't even talk today. Um, we also got the chata, which is sweet cinnamon sticks, plum raisins, and fresh vanilla cream. They consider it a horchata. Even though growing up in Southern California, horchata to me is like rice milk and whatever, you know. So. Horchata. Now, he did say in his Instagram post that he might be pulling that particular flavor, so there might only be two flavors. Heck, he could have five more flavors that I even don't know about. I mean, this is just where I'm at. I didn't do any website searching and stuff. I'll put links below, as always, in the more section. So what do I got going? Um, I got it all in I go W's, the other three left over from the six that I have. They're already wicked. I've juiced them up so you don't have to sit there. That's why I have the bottles. I don't want to forget which one's which. So that one goes here. That one goes here. This one goes here. We'll put that up there. I'm going to take a sip. All right. So what are we putting on? Freshly charged FU. It's working fine. Not going to be broken. It's working fine. Um, okay. So we got the Chata. We got the Guapa. And we got the condor. Now, I really want to do the condor first because that's the juice that's the most intriguing to me. And I guess you always start with your best foot first, right? I don't know. These old adiums, I don't know what to tell you. We'll see if we can get, uh, get some vaporage out of this. If not, we'll have to throw it on the together. I might even end up putting it. Ooh, that's nice. That's like a nutty peanut buttery, but not peanut butter, like mashed up Brazilian nuts or cashews even. I'm liking the smell of that. That's the condor. Yeah, I like the smell of that. It's got that mild tobacco, really dry tobacco smell. Very hinted though behind the nuttiness. I think I'm gonna like this juice. This smells really good. Condor. I definitely can enjoy a good tobacco vape from now and again, especially one this nutty. This condor is actually really good. First drip. New Addy, new cotton. It's a little dry. The tobacco is like a dry red. Um, more of like a, uh, I don't know, like a sauna type woodsy, like a oak, like it was roasted on oak. It's a really nice tobacco. And the nuttiness just carries the tobacco awesome. Um, pretty complex, I would say, yeah, I, I would assume that. Yeah, this would be up there um, with the Nutty Tobaccos. I mean, this is a really good vape. I like this Condor. It's really good. Big buoy. It did good with the Condor. I'm going to actually, just for fun, throw it on this. And I don't always do that when I'm reviewing. So I know it takes longer and stuff. But this is important to me. I really like the flavor one. It's really uh, bringing the flavor out. 
I just want to see how differently it vapes. I got this set at a 45 watts. And it's good to test things on different devices to see how your juice will hold true. 45 watts, 5.4 volts, 35% battery. Eh, it's a 6 ohm coil. Let's see how it holds up. Now see that changes the, the flavor a little bit. For me, I like it better. I get more of a nutty tobacco flavor when it's on the single battery. When I throw it on the double battery, I'm getting like this, the center of a Fig Newton, almost. Whereas that was a, a flavor that was in the, in the background on a single. This is a heavy to medium, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> pardon me. This is a heavy to medium juice, which is why I'm having trouble with it on the Cielli. There's a lot of flavor in that. It's a really heavy flavor. So I'm going to say for me, the Condor is better on a single battery. I'm going to move on because I like the Condor. I'm going to put this aside. We're going to meet up in the middle with some guapa. This is the guapa. It's a guava juice. Oh, I'm spilling it all over my beard. Well, at least my beard will be conditioned. Did I mention this juice is six, Nick? For juice that's been sitting around since, or steeping around since September, um, for a six, Nick, it's not so heavy. I'm really liking it. I would consider it like a four now. Um, the Nick hasn't uh, degraded. I don't think too much. I like the fact that it's not so spot on heavy six. Ooh, that's real sweet. That's the sweet stuff. Yeah, that is the guava. Man, I want to drink this. Um, if you ever had that strawberry guava nectar juice in a can, uh, that that's instead of getting a Pepsi or something, you end up getting that. Definitely has the guava. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this stuff so far. It smells good. I'm just going to throw a standard tip on here. I got the Igo W's drilled out, courtesy of uh, Vapor Solutions by Julie Local to me. They drilled out my Addies. Um, they got a big old drill. So Man, I could already tell you, even though I'm not producing much vapor, the flavor of the guava is just... As soon as you open that can, that strawberry guava... It's definitely just like that canned drink. I don't know what it's called, but it's really good. This is the uh, gua, gua, Guapa. Guapa? I'm bad at saying names. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, what else? This is really good. It's a candy type of vape. Um, a little bit on the sweet. It's a tropical vape. I think my batteries are dying. I'm going to throw this on the Sigeli too, just because... Uh, I'm considering taking this flavor with me throughout the day tomorrow. That's really good. Singing sweet in here. There's a lot of flavor in here. It's um I think I would kick down the watts on this. Down to about 30 watts for big buoy. Um, juices. Um, as far as a single mechanical, it's good with a good battery. Um, man, that is good. I could vape that though. You're not vaping this stuff for clouds, I'll tell you what. Um, which is okay, you know. I think this would be great in an Atlantis. There's just a lot of flavor in here. I don't know the mix. Um, this is good juice though. So far, two for two, Big Bowie. Two for two. I usually don't vape these type of flavors, so this is actually a really good. Same as the Condor. I'm, I'm liking your juice line so far. You have me nervous. You have me nervous. The last one, though, the horchata, you said you pulled it, so. Maybe I should stop when I'm ahead. You know what? Look at this. It looks really nice on this Sigeli. The cap is easily pulled off. I'm going to go another pull. This guapa is really good, you guys. 
for a tropical flavor. Really good, yeah. Yeah, this is a decent juice. It's six milligram Nick, but it, it's not hitting like six, maybe because I've steeped it for so long. Who knows? Um, I want to switch over to the next juice, but I'm enjoying this so much. Who knew? Chris Wicks likes guava. Who knew? Who knew I'd like that? So, so far, two for two, the Nerdy Condor. Um, yeah, single battery, I recommend works a lot better than dual battery. If you have dual battery, 45 watts for me, it's just a little bit too high. It kind of burns out the flavor a little bit. Um, I would say maybe 30, 32, 35 watts will work out great. Now on to this chata. I think it's been pulled. It's got raisin in it, so it's gonna taste like uh, like raisins, like in sweet cinnamon sticks and fresh vanilla cream. I'm looking forward to, but something tells me that fresh vanilla cream is not gonna be at the foreground of this juice. I mean, I'm gonna go right to the sigeli, and then we'll go back to that. I just want to test it out. Well, the Sigeli's working. It's cooking juice. Okay, that's a... That's a really heavy cinnamon... Cinnamon? No, it's it's more than cinnamon. There's some spices in there that are like Christmas time spices. It's a really spicy type of smell. Almost like a grandma smell. Like a grandma juice. Um, in fact... I think the raisins, the plum, is what's carrying it a little bit, but I'm not getting vanilla cream. That uh, that cinnamon stick is just way too overpowering. Let's see if I can get this to fit. Okay. Boom. On to the vape test. Let's vape this juice, and I'll send you on your merry way. I can't even get this thing on here. All right. Well, that is an odd flavor to flav. Um, I would not consider this a horchata in the slightest. I can see why you would pull it. It's not really something that people would enjoy. It's a unique flavor, though, and I, I kind of have a kind of have an inkling to like weird flavors. That raisins almost gives it like a, a licorice type, like a anise type of vape. All in all, it's not bad. It tastes like a lot of nutmeg. It really just tastes like a um, like a holiday fresh type of juice. So if you're drinking eggnog and you vape this, you're going to have an awesome time around Christmas. But um, in the middle of the summer, uh, I'm all over the guapa. This is the guapa. We got the condor, the nutty tobacco, the guapa, which is the guava, and the chata, which isn't that bad. It's not really great, but hey... Um, I'm liking it. Maybe there's a couple people that do like it. It's well made. It's not like it's made poorly. It's really well made. And all these juices are very complex. For a new vendor and a new juice maker, hats off to you for, um, you know, coming up with some flavors that are different than all the other crap on the market. And uh, good for you, man. Big Bowie. Check them out. Uh, they got some unique flavors. I'm liking them. Uh, I'm three for three on these, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I'm definitely bringing, uh, bringing this with me tomorrow.